Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jerko here and I am back again with another GTA Online modding video. Today's modding video will be on the topic of risky features. Now, these features are pretty much in any mod menu and these are the reasons why you want the mod menu, most of you people. I'm going to be going over them and just because they're risky doesn't mean they'll get you banned right away or anything. I've used these risky features and still haven't gotten banned to this day with Impulse, with Zeus, with uh, a little bit of, um, what's it called, Disturbed, and you know, I'm still chilling, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be going over those five things, those five risky features. They're risky and they can get you banned, but with these menus, it's a very, very, very low ban rate. But uh, yeah, if you guys are enjoying the content that I'm dishing out and stuff, uh, yeah, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I got something special coming on, I think Friday, so it'd be tomorrow. I'm filming this Wednesday, so uh, yeah, if you like the content, uh, you know, join the Discord, subscribe, like, you know, we've been just absolutely, the support's been amazing lately. And uh, yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. And yeah, let's get right into the video. The first risky mod feature I'd like to go over is trolling. All right, so trolling can be a really big deal because not only do you have a mod menu in your game, whether you've injected it or actually have it in the files, if it's a free one or a paid one, I would suggest using a paid one, but if you're trolling, you can honestly like crash other people's games, ruin other people's experience, and Rockstar doesn't like that. I mean, if you add yourself money or whatever, I mean, that's they don't also want that, but it's, you're not affecting other people's experience. When you go out of your way and troll people and break people's stuff and tr crash your game and stuff and throw a bunch of dump trucks at them and fuck up their game and you know, fuck up their supplies or whatever, once you start affecting other people's games and then they can report you, um, that's when you can get reported, of course, and you could possibly get banned. So that is a risky feature that I wanted to go over because not only are you using a mod menu, but you're affecting other people's game and you're affecting other people's experience. And once you start doing that, then you can get in a lot of trouble, get banned or permanently banned. Risky feature number two is adding money in RP. Now, if you add a bunch of RP at once, unless you use impulse and you can like you know up your days of time played or whatever if you add like level 8000 with a free menu or something that is a big big like alert for rockstar they can track that and if you're level 8000 with only three hours played of course no one's ever gotten level 8000 in the first place legit so right then you know that a level 8000 is pretty much a modder so what they're gonna do is pretty much just you know oh well he's only played three hours even if you're level 150 and you only have two three four hours played even a day or two they're gonna track that and realize wow you know that that doesn't line up and they will ban you either that or if you add a hundred million dollars let's say and you only have two three days played that's not gonna add up either honestly is it possible to get a hundred million yeah it's definitely possible but i mean like as a brand new player in your first two or three days played you're not gonna get be able to get a hundred million dollars that quickly so that's another way they can track is your time played and your money and rp number three is spawning things like for example i can spawn unreleased dlc cars from the casino heist because it's in the coding of the game and my mod menus let me use them so if i were to go out and use those cars then people would be like huh that's an unreleased car and they can you know report me or whatever you, you gotta you gotta remember that not everyone is okay with modding even if you're a good modder quote unquote you're just teleporting or helping people out because that you can you're affecting their experience and their grind or whatever so people might not like that and someone might report you anyways even though you're not affecting their game experience or giving them giving them a bad experience you know or being a dickhead so like spawning like ramps or something on your car like um spawning like bo buoys or something like that i don't know spawning vans on roofs or something or like i know on maze bank you can spawn those ramps like on the edges of the top very top of the helicopter pad so if you do stuff like that like add map mods people are going to know right away maybe they might not know who it is right away but if you're near it or by it or something then they might just report everyone you know if you're a bystander then you're guilty by you know being there spawning things like that unreleased vehicles map mods or something like that that's definitely a no-brainer of this person's modding Number four is weapon mods. Now, in of course weapon in the in the weapon options in Impulse, you can do something like the gravity gun, where you can pick things up and then shoot it really really far. As well as you can add explosive ammo to any gun, like an Uzi or something like that. You can use explosive ammo like snipers and I think the shotgun if you get it from the bunker research. But if you use it on the Uzi, you can just lay waste on anything and it just blows everything up in its path. That's one way that you can figure out that someone's modding or not is uh, how they're using their weapons and what their weapons are actually doing you can get a rope gun like the grappling hook mod 
you can get a rainbow gun you can get like unlimited ammo stuff like that i know people won't exactly see that you have unlimited ammo or if you're using uh, one shot kill for example one shot kill explosive ammo and that kind of stuff that is another kind of risky feature that you can um definitely get caught using and like i said before if you're helping someone do a heist and you're using these things or something they might not think oh you're ruining my experience but oh you know you're a modder and i don't like that because i understand that modding can be you know can upset people especially if you're on that grind but like i have 100 days played on ps4 if someone just came in and modded everything away from me or something like that or just fucked up my research or whatever i'd be upset too so yeah you always if you're gonna mod and use these risky features at your own risk of course unless you're a con content creator like me and you want to get footage for it then i would just go close friend session and just do it there with your friends and maybe a couple other people and my last but not least risky feature it's not a feature on the mod menu itself but it's something that you can prevent yourself from doing is just going in chat and going i'm a modder or something like that you know because i mean like i said before you might not be being a dickhead but other people don't like that because you're ruining their experience and you know you can get in trouble for that too so you know don't expose yourself don't be like hey who wants to do a money drop or whatever only do it for your friends or if you're running a business which i honestly promote it's pretty cool you do like three dollar recoveries or whatever um yeah you can do recoveries of course but for specific people specific sessions not just into into a random public session and doing that because not only can you get that other person banned you can get your, yourself banned as well and you can report it and shit like that i know that a lot of mod menus like impulse and disturbed and stuff like that they have really good protections from reports and stuff and you're most likely not going to get banned like impulse is ban rate is very 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 low but you never know who you're going to meet in a lobby you could meet a rockstar dev i know there's even protections against that but they could be you know casually playing at home instead of like whatever i don't know you know what i'm saying like you never know who you're gonna accidentally meet in a lobby and accidentally get banned but these are some of the risky features that of course you can still use i i like using them i suggest using them for fun but if you want to stay away from risk of getting banned don't use these features you know a lot i know money rp you can add a few hundred mil a few billion dollars with impulse and stuff like that but if you don't want to get banned stay away from these features and you should be good all right so that's it for the video guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the risky features i know these are some uh some of them are no-brainers but there's also some things that you can forget like some weapon options you know sometimes i forget about that too sometimes i'll be running around with explosive ammo shooting everything up but uh yeah those were uh that was today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy please remember to drop a like subscribe if you're into this kind of gta online mod content and uh yeah i got special things coming but yeah turn on post notifications subscribe like join the discord down below in the description i swear to god if one person comments my discord what is my discord one more time i'm gonna lose my fucking mind but yeah uh yeah discord's down below in the description and press one if you watch the whole video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace i mean it too if you ask for my fucking discord one more time in the comments down below i'm gonna lose my fucking shit just kidding love you I wrote this song for the moment that I'm on When I won't have to say the words Cause my fans just sing along Kinda crazy, we work hard just to be lazy I ate miles